Hi, I'm Jeff Fraser. I'd like to welcome you to Adirondack Living TV. Five times each week, I'll take you on a half hour journey to meet the people, see the places, and do the things that make the Adirondack Park such a great place to live, work, and play. So come on, live the dream. It's your turn to jump into Adirondack Living TV. Today on Adirondack Living TV, join us as we visit the 11th Adirondack Living Show and meet the veritable who's who of rustic furniture, water toys, docks, and so much more. All this and more here on Adirondack Living TV. I'm Jeff Fraser. And behind this very unassuming 98,000 square foot bubble is a veritable who's who of Adirondack living artists and enthusiasts. Yep, you guessed it, we're here at the 11th Adirondack Living Show and I want to take you inside because this is going to blow your mind. So let's go do some Adirondack Living sports complex style. So here we are inside the Adirondack Sports Complex here in Queensbury and as you can see over both of my shoulders this place is absolutely immense. It is a tennis bubble on steroids effectively and we are using two-thirds of it so essentially 66,000 square feet of show space and again as I mentioned outside this is a veritable who's who of the rustic furniture makers, the painters, the carvers, the sculptors, the water toys, the docks, the cooking show, the fly fishing demo pond. We have a rock climbing wall. The kids have been having an absolute blast on this rock climbing wall. So let's go take a little journey down the aisle here and meet some of the fine folks that are here. This first artist is a really interesting guy. His name's Mike Barber and he and his wife Colleen have a business called the Rustic Cottage. Now they're downstate and they're very new to the whole rustic furniture business. I want you to meet with Mike and hear what he's got in store for you. Did this table here was my latest creation. Um, I upscaled my, my design a little bit. I have uh, cherry drawers, dovetailed, uh, tiger maple top, the root system. And I think uh, what makes me a little different from other rustic artists is I use um, a lot of European stag horns, which um, I have never seen any other artists use. They use a lot of moose and that kind of thing. I started to incorporate some paintwork. What I tried to do with that concept was have a piece of furniture that morphed into a painting on the wall. Um, if you were in this canoe here and you looked over your shoulder, that would be what would be downriver from you if you were in it. And I also uh, incorporated a carver. Um, he did some carve work for me with a uh, fish, a fisherman fly fishing with the trout. And I used some vintage um, flies to add a little accent to it. So you may recall at the last show in Lake George, we caught up with a lot of the great vendors. And one of those guys that we got to talk to along with his wife, Chris, was Gary Kraus from Native Woods. Now Gary and Chris are a little unique because they're actually from Maine, but they do a really interesting natural edge furniture line, and I wanted to have a quick chat with Gary again. Welcome back to the show, Gary. Well, it's good seeing you as always. You. Yeah, you've been uh, you've been a busy little camper here today. Yeah, we have. We've and been yesterday, well, yep, there's been a good uh, good number of people through, and some oh, yeah. really good responses. And, yeah. Well, our specialty is what we call live edge furniture, and I don't really call it rustic because the furniture is actually finished, hand rub finished to 2,000 grit. But we do have the natural bark edge of, of the wood. We, we buy logs, character logs, that have uh, burls and knots and sweeps and disease of all types in them. Uh, we saw <laughs> them and uh, uh, we bring out all that character. In this piece, it's a maple wine bar, as it says by the tag. Don't think that I'm that bright that I can figure that out on my own. But uh, your wife, Chris, just pointed out to me that the bottle of wine in here is red knot. <laughs> I didn't get it, Yeah, and, but I do now. And that's a perfect way to keep your cork wet. It is, absolutely. Um, I'm all about a wet cork. Um, and you do have the wine storage below it. Very nice. Now the interesting thing is that this piece was about two slab cuts above this piece. The hole where the wine bottle was is now the hole for the wire for the um, computer. Unbelievable. It's fantastic. And uh, we got one other little trick on this. We took a, a little bow and we carved a 
drawer out of it. Oh so my gosh, look at that. On the pivot. That is awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now, th these are this laptop desk, this is a wine bar, but one of the things that's really striking when you walk up are your beds, Besides okay?